elements so it's defaulted to zero over there so that's our for loop it has run three times and maybe we can see that more explicitly if we ask for the value of of i as uh, that loop was running so let's save that and run it again and you can see here i is only running 1 3 and 5 and uh, x looks like that right so much for the for loop um, just to say that we could also run that loop backwards right um, let's say we wanted to go from 5 down to 1 then the increment could be a minus 1 and uh, then I would adopt those values as it executed each of those statements so uh, we can run that loop forward and backward and uh, that's the for loop moving now on to the final very common device in computer programming the while do loops um, while do loops are a bit more general than for loops in that they don't prescribe the behavior of any counters that they might be using the while loop is a bit simpler in that it, it just states while the condition is true then execute all the statements in here um, the moment the condition becomes false then jump out of that loop so let's just follow this example here let's copy that and in fact let's uh, well let's just save that as a new file and uh, I'll just put the initializer on top here close or clear or CLC right and uh, let's look at how this while do loop is operating so um, here the condition for this while loop is that X must be less than or equal to 5 so um, if there's nothing to change the value of i right you can see here we're starting with i being one if we don't change the value of i this loop will execute indefinitely right the moment the program uh, the moment the compiler reaches the stage of the code it won't be able to exit it will just keep looping around if we don't have anything to uh, increment the value of i so let's remove that line and you can see here we enter uh, for a value of one and uh, i is not going to change so it's just going to loop around here and uh, let's uh, sorry that was from some previous code let's just say display the value of i here so let's run that as it is let's say that as ex05 so ex05 and you can see here the one looks static on the screen but if we look here we can see it's actually that uh, one is is being printed over and over again on the screen so we want to break the program there so let's control C to break so let's look here um, so we, we would like to increment the value for I in here so if we say I equals I plus one then you can see that I is going to enter with a value of one it will be printed on the screen and then we'll increment that value of I when it reaches the end then uh, because it was inside a while statement it goes back to the top here it rechecks the criterion i is still not less than or equal to five and so it will execute the statements again so let's run that ex05 and so you see i has gone through all those values here so that's your while do loop and uh, the syntax in matlab it doesn't uh, require us to show the do there it's just while and uh, that's the uh, the criterion the check and uh, execute all the statements in between uh, where we said while and the end there so that's an extremely basic set of operations and uh, of programming devices namely condition statements, our if-then statements, for loops and while loops and that's really all we need to control the flow of logic and the flow of information in our programs. Almost all the computer programs that uh, you'll see um, can be created using just those three devices.